after seeing the both component and the directive this is a question comes to a mind that what is the difference between component and directive both are the classes in angular and in one case we are specifying a decorator at the right component we have a selector template and the style urls and another we have a directive and then we just have a selector only so let's try to understand what are those things which separate so component is defined with the at the right component decorator while your directive is defined with the at the right directive decorator the component is a directive that uses a shadow dom to create encapsulated visual behavior called component components are typically used to create a ui widgets so this is a thing with a component you get two additional things apart from selector you get a template and you get a styles url but in the directive you just get a selector you don't have a template or uh, you don't have a style url specifically there directive mainly used to provide a new behavior within existing dom elements with the help of component we can break down the application in multiple small parts with the help of directive we can design any type of reusable component view decorator for template url template is mandatory for the component but this is what i was talking directives don't use the views it don't need a view because the input to the decorator sorry the input to a directive itself is a view so it takes a view and then it applies its customization the behavior specific customization on that view so it doesn't need a separate view it needs a logic to manipulate that view but it doesn't need a separate view there is a change in the life cycle mechanism in case of the structural and attribute directives and uh, than the what we know for the component directive so we have seen this life cycle hooks for the component directive if you are not familiar with it i would recommend this video for you in which i have explained everything about the life cycle hooks so there is a change for the structural attribute directives as uh, like directives also have this life cycle hooks and uh, that's where uh, it has a slight change with a component directive we have a ng on changes which is called first then we have a ng on in it we have a ng to check and then we directly have a ng on destroy there is no after content in it after content checked after view in it after so basically we don't have these things after content in it after content checked after view in it and after view check and the reason is very obvious since the directive accepts a view as its input that means the view related part is already taken care by some components so the view has been initialized view has been checked or view uh, started to initialize those things are already checked by a component and that's why directive don't have to bother about it those are the uh, those are the life cycle hooks that are already there so directive doesn't need to you know tap into those event and add some special customization so if you want to do that you can accomplish that through a components lifecycle hook you don't need a separate methods there and that's why directives don't have the view specific lifecycle methods here it has its own like on changes on init to check and on destroy so conclusion let's try to understand the difference between them again and see how they are different from each other and what annotation wise we use the at the rate directive and for the component we use at the rate component very basic one then angular components have a selector and the template angular directive have only selector they don't accept a template or template as uh, specific here and they can be used in any existing dom to add a behavior as per the requirement usage wise angular components can be used as many times in the angular ac application as it requires only one angular component can be present to a particular view and this component can be used across angular application so there the both things basically are there to enable a reusability to you you can use angular component also but angular directives are not limited to be used by as an attribute inside any dom angular comes with a different types of directives such as attribute directive and the structural directives so you can use it with any html element not necessary with only a component since you have the types there attribute and uh, structural when to use it always use an angular component when you need to create your own view that is attached to its behavior this component can be accessed by any other component within the application unlike the directive the directive should be used whenever you need to add or modify existing dom so if there is already existing dom present for example if you want to catch and click event or want to catch a scroll on a ui that time we can use a directive to apply some customization we can achieve a two way binding using angular directive and there is a special directive present which is ng model which is very handy when we want to bind a data in a two direction
So that's all for this video and I hope it may help you. Thank you.